if you want to show your error message or your custom error message in such kind of a box but using custom lwc or, or lwc component you are in the right video hi all welcome to salesforce in five minutes in the previous video what we did was we built a simple form once user clicks on save it just shows the error message right but the error message was static i was not bringing the error message from the handle error right i need to show the particular error message like the phone number cannot be blank i need to show this kind of error message within this box so that's what we are going to do in this video we are going to bring the customized error message that actually is thrown inside salesforce but before getting started if you really like my videos i request you to please subscribe to this channel so let's jump back to it so what i want is in the previous video we just saw so we were just showing some kind of error message right this is just a standard error message that i'm showing but in this video i'm going to actually bring the error message that we actually face inside this component so all the error message are we we get all the error message from here that is handle error right as soon as there is an error uh, the component usually as per as the life cycle what happens is you submit the form okay either it goes to success either it goes to error right now if there is any error it goes to error right so it will go inside the handle error and this is where from here only i am bringing the error as well now instead of bringing the error inside alert i'm going to show that within the error message so for that just to show the uh, the customized error message i'm going to create a variable named as error message okay and i'm going to use the same variable at the start so instead of this i'm just going to use this so now I just have to populate the value of this error message to do that all you need to do is where is handle error okay instead of uh, doing this what we can do is this dot error message equals to whatever error message uh, in the string gate file format I'm getting I'll just pay I just copy paste the same error message inside this variable and I'm going to alert the, uh, comment this alert so now let's see whether the error message is visible to us inside the square box or not. So there was a validation named as uh, phone number cannot be blank. Such kind of error or uh, validation we already have. And if there is no phone number, then it should fire an error message same way. So that's what we are going to do. Uh, let's see whether the error message comes or not. Okay. I'm getting the whole error message itself. I don't want the whole, whole error message, right? I don't want the whole error message. Instead of that, I just want the message part of it. So if I copy paste it, if you know JSON a bit, even a bit. So if you see, I just want the message or either I just want the detail from it. Okay. I don't want the whole thing. Instead, I just want the detail from it. So that's what I'm, what I'm going to do is event dot detail dot detail. So what's going to happen is from that particular event dot detail, I'm just going to get the detail part of it. That is nothing but the actual error message. Because if you go to the standard one, you just get the error message like account name is blank or something like that. Okay. So now let's deploy it first. Now once that is done, let's do a hard reload. And now let's try to save it again. Okay. I am getting phone number can't be blank, but the phone number that is coming within the single course, right? I need to remove the single course. One more thing is, let's say if I have some phone number, right? If I have the phone number, this means the error should not come, but we have a required field as well, right? The last name is required field. I just reload once more. Okay, now let's say uh, there are two types of the validation. One is validation coming from validation rules. Another is a standard validation or the UI level validation. Like for an example, this is a required field and I did not put any value inside this required field. So I should get the error message for that as well, but I am not getting it because I have not handled it, right? There are two types of the validation, static validation and validation coming from validation rule or something went wrong. 
so i have to handle both of this validation so usually all the kinds of validations okay if you have written a validation rule the value of that validation rule will be obtained inside event dot detail dot detail okay that's what uh, you are going to get now what i'm going to do is if it's a custom validation i'm writing like for an example if uh, the error is coming from custom validation in that case is event dot detail dot detail won't be null right if it if it is not null so in that cases what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut cut paste this one okay what i'm going to do in the, inside this is i'm just going to copy paste this inside where string str let's say okay and if you remember just now what i'm getting in error message is single quotes as well i need to remove this single quote right event dot detail dot detail like i'm handling if there is a validation rule if the error is due to validation rule right so if this is happening so from the event or detail or detail i'm just getting the message and from that message i'm going to replace all sing i am going to replace this double quotes with just space okay with just some blank space so what i did was i am replacing this uh, double quotes with nothing else at all okay so let's deploy it now with this i have carried out uh, i've completely taken care of a uh, custom validation or so, sorry yeah custom validation i've taken care of custom validation but yet i have to take care of standard validations as well so let's click on save and let's see what's happening okay now i am getting the proper message it's not within single quotes everything looks fine to me okay now i need to also take care of the standard validations uh, like a required field is missing or something like that now in that case i need to go inside else and inside this else what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy paste this again right i'm just going to copy paste this again now now out of this i'm just going to get event dot detail dot output dot field errors dot name zero dot message so this is just going to return me the required fields or the standard validations error messages now out of this what i need to do is i need to again replace the i'm going to get the error message in single double quotes okay so i have to remove this double quotes and i have to populate again it inside the uh, this dot error message okay so let's deploy it and let's let's reload it okay now let's say i have entered the whole phone number okay but there are few st standard validation yet left right if i save it okay it's saying that required field last name is missing so it's not perfectly as per as the ui but yeah it looks fine to me okay at least it is acceptable that i am able to show the error message over here now next thing this is fine i am able to show the custom error message using our uh, lwc format now next thing is the if you see in the standard one we see this kind of an icon as well right if you see there is an icon as well i need to show uh, this icon as well and along with this if i click on this icon the error message should go away if i click again on this icon the error message should reappear so this icon is nothing but a button okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a button over here so let's go to this and we just before the error what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my button okay inside this button again i'm going to add the svg and now once my svg is added i need to add my use okay now outside uh, inside this use i am going to use this perfectly fine okay not inside the svg sorry okay but instead of close i am going to show the error just like the below one right uh, if you see i am just going to show the error so it will be sld's icon utility sprite svg symbols and svg errors okay now i need to give some css to this S S uh, svg right so class equals to slds hyphen button underscore underscore icon 
एस एल डी एस हाइफन बटन अंडर स्कोर अंडर स्कोर आइकन अंडर स्कोर लार्ज इन एरिया हिडन इक्वल्स टू ट्रू ओके दिस वॉज वन सी एस एस एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द सी एस 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 एल डी एस हाइफन बटन ओके सॉरी क्लास इक्वल्स टू एस एल डी एस हाइफन बटन एस एल डी एस हाइफन बटन अंडर स्कोर आइकन हाइफन एरर एस एल डी एस हाइफन पी हाइफन राइट स्मॉल स्मॉल एंड आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एड द टाइटल टू इट सेंग दैट रिजॉल्व एरर ओके एंड लेट सेव इट नाउ ओके ओके नाउ लेट्स अगेन रिफ्रेश इट क्विकली एंड लेट्स सी वेदर थिंग्स आर वर्किंग फाइन और नॉट ओके लेट्स से इफ आई गेट एन एरर ओके आई स्टिल कॉन्ट सी दैट आईकन या आईकन इज विजिबल फाइन ओके नाउ आई कैन सी द आईकन एज वेल बट नाउ इफ आई क्लिक ऑन दिस आईकन द एरर मेसेज शुड गो अवे अगेन इफ आई क्लिक ऑन इट it should come back right so for that purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to add an on click to it okay and inside this on click i'm going to add the same thing that i did over here that is on a handle dialog i'm going to do the same thing okay so what we can do is handle error message copy paste it and i'm going to use the same thing again over here okay so let's jump back to it and let's check it now okay so now if i click on save okay my icon is coming if i click on it the error message disappears if i click again on it okay the error message is not reappearing okay let's say test okay what's happening is so let's say okay let's remove this whole thing and let's keep the hide section as false in this case and in the rest of the times let's keep it true okay let's click on save again error message has started coming if i click on it it goes away if i click again on it it's not coming back okay why is it so if i click on handle error message previously the value of this variable was true hide section now as soon as i this hide that section equals to equals to I have to check right sorry so if it's equals to equals to true in that case i have to Do the stuff. Let's click on save. Error message is coming. Button is coming. If I click on it, message re disappears. Again reappears. So things are working fine now. I think so. so this is how you build an error message component using lwc that is the standard looking error component using lwc if you found this video helpful i request you to please subscribe to this channel